YouTube, what is going on? Crowder here, and I am bringing you guys a brand new video. This is the first video of 2022, and first of all, I hope you guys all had a great holiday and obviously a happy new year. I hope you guys have a great 2022 ahead. And yeah, we're dropping a video for 2022 right now. It is going to be a VOD review. We have done this before on this channel. If you guys don't really know what this is, it is just me watching over a viewer's gameplay. They sent in a solo of them playing. It's for Clayish right now. He's a subscriber in my chat and he just wanted some tips on like what I think he could be doing better. So of course, this is only really like 15 minutes of gameplay and it's not the easiest to really, you know, tell you exactly what you need to work on from just 15 minutes of gameplay of one game. But uh, I saw a few things in this video that I think he needs to work on. I think a lot of it was that, A, his settings were really important. Uh, on top of his settings, it was his centering, uh, his patience of like, you know, pushing fights too early without doing some of the small stuff that will actually lead to a lot more wins and a couple other things as well that I was able to point out in this video. But yeah, I get to watch over his gameplay with my chat and kind of just analyze what I think he could be working on to get better at the game and so on and so forth. Uh, a lot of people in the chat tend to like this. I know a lot of you guys on YouTube tend to like this as well so hopefully you enjoy this video if you do drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel uh we have a lot of coaching stuff coming out on this channel as well in the future for 2022 so hopefully you enjoy this subscribe like the video and all that good stuff i hope you guys are having a great day or whatever time you're watching this and as always it's been your boy crowder and i'll see you guys next video basically i'll what i'll do for the video is like since we're recording it i'll like tell them what i think he needs to work on and then I'll like show it to a, like, you know, I'll go to a private match real quick and like also to show him like what, like, you know what I'm saying? Like what he needs to work on and stuff like in a plunder and then kind of go from there. But uh, it looks like he's on console, right? Yeah, the FOV, he's definitely on console. Really quick, this might be a stupid question. On console, can he make his mini map square? Make the mini map bigger? Yeah, that's possible. Absolutely need a square mini map. If you guys don't know why you need a square mini map, you need a square mini map because your best friend in Call of Duty is this. Right here this mini map is your best friend in call of duty so like like this is the biggest thing ever so like that's his biggest mistake already that is like your best friend in call of duty that's all your information your movement your like you know how to like how to approach gunfights the terrain of the map etc etc like you just need that so if you're playing with anything less uh, anything other than a square mini map you're fucking tripping this is ground loot like ground loot gunfights i'm not going to give him too much you know too much criticism on gun skill for that he needs to turn his screen shake down too yeah he might have that up too so we'll definitely like the number one thing i think we should we should go through with him is settings i don't know every setting that you can do i don't know every setting that you can do on a console because obviously i just haven't played on console in so long but i'll go through my settings and then hopefully he can take some away from that if that makes any sense but yeah i can see the screen shake thing so if he's on console and he can turn that off too those are his two settings that will help him out tremendously his movement's decent. The one thing I don't like is, does he not have a submachine gun by him right now? Why is it? Thank you. Uh, so even though it's not a submachine gun, you have faster movement with the carbine. He should never, he shouldn't be running around with that Bren. He shouldn't be running around that with that Bren unless like, you know, he sees someone and he's going to shoot it. Like I'm glad he switched now, but like he should keep this gun out this entire time. Oh, uh, this is definitely hundred bucks in here. But he should immediately buy a UAV. All right, so he pops dims. This is fine. All of this is like not bad. I want to see like what happens. Like I, I feel like the biggest thing for him is gonna be like, obviously his settings and stuff, and then like gun skill. This FOB is painful. Yeah, the FOB obviously. But yeah, he's definitely got the movement. Like he's not bad in that sense. Like, bro, you ever notice the best players in the world? And like you can do comparisons and stuff too. If you ever watch a really good player when they're like fucking locked in, like look how he runs through this street. He's just staring at the ground. Like you see his center of aim is right here. Like his centering is right here. His center of aim is right here. Like I know he has a UAV. So he knows like no one's in these houses. But like he should always be like you should always center your aim where like enemies can be. Like there's enemies cannot be right here. So like if someone were to be around here, like he's just centering at the floor. Like he should like consciously be working about like centering his aim. Like not at the not at the ground. I feel like that's a big I, I feel like the biggest thing where like when players play the game, like their centering is never like at something important. The tips I think this guy needs to work on is his settings, number one, and his centering, number two. Would be like the two things I've seen so far. 
Like his settings obviously are a super simple fix, but the settering is definitely. He should have got out of the car and just shot right there. He's making this too hard for himself. Right there, he should have just got out of the car. He could have been way more aggressive there. Like he's looking backwards, like he should just, yeah. Shot, fine. He didn't really need to do all that looking backwards, but that's not really that big of a deal. Like there, all he has to do is just drive to the edge of the zone and then get out instead of like, keep like looking behind him and driving like basically blind. Like there's no need for him to do that. If you guys know what I'm saying. And after, I'll do a video of yours too. If you, if you wish to read the YouTube link and make sure it's like a good quality YouTube video. I'll, I'll help you out too if you want. All right, that was fine. That was a good play. Hey, this guy's got a good shot. UAV, that's fine. I self revive. UAV entering the AO. All right, go get your loadout. This is a stupid push. Why not just get his loadout? This is a dumb push. This is a lack of patience. This is a push that like he might get away with, but like there's just there's no need to do what he's doing right now. He should have he should have just got his loadout right here. It takes him what five to ten seconds to get that loadout and then get to this building and fight. Instead, he just goes straight to this building without his loadout weapon as of lack of patience. And like when you're in the zone, like you feel like you need to get to that building and you know, kill him and like, you know, do all this stuff. Where like, if he gets his loadout weapon, fighting this guy is probably gonna be a hundred times more comfortable because you have guns that are actually good. You understand the recoil, they're your weapons, you're comfortable with them. So instead of getting that loadout, which we'll say he would have gotten at 820, and then he would have gotten here probably like, you know, a couple seconds later. Look. Look at all this time he wastes. He plays this smart by getting up top and like playing patient here. But like that extra couple seconds to get his loadout would have made him so much more comfortable in this scenario. Like, look, like he doesn't have a gun that like, you know, he's probably super comfortable with. Like uh, you should always get your loadout in Caldera. Basically almost every single time. Yeah, he's got a gun, like the recoil's weird. He's still playing this smart. You have a weak, push him. You see how hard that fight was? Like, that fight could have just been so much easier if he just had his own loadout. Is the reason why I say this is because now he's all the way over here. He just shot an unsilenced weapon. His opponent shot an unsilenced weapon. He now does not have his loadout, and anyone in this hill could now be pushing him with their loadout, and he can't defend himself with a loadout weapon. You see, you see why, like, that lack of five seconds of patience can, like, cost him, like, a tough gunfight, all because, like, he just wanted to run at this guy where like the inevitable thing would have been it would have been the same exact result you know what i mean we need recon here. so yeah that that situation is just like he needs, he needs to work on his patience and again like he's not gonna get his loadout right now he's taking these fights like granted he might get away with these like obviously this guy's not the best player in the world uh what's going on like that guy's not the best player in the world but again like he's taking these fights where consistently speaking he's at a, he's making this game harder than it has to be on him. You see what I mean? Like, he's skilled. He's talented. But like, look. He still doesn't have his loadout gun. This gunfight's not comfortable. Still doesn't have his loadout. He still can't get his loadout. And you see when that UAV... You see, it, you, see, you see when that UAV was up, how easy his loadout was, like, accessible, and now he can't get it? That's, like, my point. All this stuff, like, if he... So, if he wants to win more games, like, he also doesn't play the circle at all. He's been riding the edge of gas this entire game. But, like, my point is, is, like, you know how he was fighting all down here? Caldera is a very position-based map. Fighting at the edge of the circle while running up a hill, like, the terrain is very uphill here. It seems, like, super inviting to, like, get all these kills. But all he had to do in this scenario was get a loadout, kill the guy by the buy, and then take a car and get on top of the hill and then hold everybody below him and then have an easy escape. You see what I mean? Like, look, he still needs to rotate up this hill, right? So like right here with the way I play, it's either you drop down into the lowest part of the map and like fight in here, the circle, or you go all the way up to the right up here and have people behind you that you can hold or you can push down. You want to always stay high ground. Like, he still does not have a loadout all because of that one mistake. Like, he doesn't have guns that he's comfortable with. He doesn't have any of that. Like, he's just in a really tough situation right now for himself because of the way, like, you know, like, look at this shot. 
He's got a decent gun. He's got decent gun skill, but he's using guns that are just horrific. At this point in the game, like these guns are bad. He still gets these kills, which is good, but like, yeah, he's just made this game way harder on himself than he had to be. Caldera is like chess. In a sense, it is. Like right now, I'm happy that he's more center circle here and he's like driving around. But like, what I'm not happy about is like, bro, his patience just like kills me inside. Like, I know the quality is not good, but right here on the mini map is a king, a, a, is a big game bounty. He's driving. He doesn't have his loadout. What should he, he, like, his, la his lack of patience is, like, destroying him. All these vehicles is fine. His vehicles aren't that big of a deal. What he should be doing, though, is using these vehicles to find money to find a loadout so he can get moving again. You know what I mean? Like, he's not even, like, he, he, and it, it's all because he just wants the tunnel vision and run at stuff. But I'm telling you, like, those couple of seconds of just running at things usually lead to you dying and getting less kills and less wins than the extra 10 seconds it takes to drive over here and pick up that. Now go try and kill, like, have some sense of direction. Go kill a big game bounty. Get your advanced UAV. Get your knowledge of the map. Like, he's just, like, tunneling on, like, where he wants to go to, like, you know, like, it's a lot of short-term thinking. Again, like him driving here is fine. He gets another kill. Again, like these are all uncomfortable kills in the sense of like guns still. Like he hasn't fought anyone that really shoots back, which is like going to happen in Warzone. You guys watch me play all the time. Like I run into bots all the time. I get it. But like you, you should be, you should be playing. You should be playing the game act like when you're running into someone they're gonna be good so it's like he's getting really lucky that he hasn't ran into anyone that's good right now which is gonna happen in warzone but the problem is like you should always be working on focusing on you know what you can do better in the sense of like if i do run into someone good like what can i do so he gets the money so now he should work a loadout huge lack of patience again just go buy a loadout it takes five seconds out of your day go buy a loadout any uav he's got a lot of money he's not fully plated like here get out Fight this guy. You understand how much easier that could have been if he had a submachine gun? So his gun skill is good. Like watch when he gets out of here, watch. Right here, he should have he should have like slid to the left and like used this corner to like then jump back. Like you know what I'm saying? Like use like like use his movement there. He's good enough where he knows his movement, so he just dies there. So it's just like, it's just tough. Let's see how he plays the blue log. Here's him. Good kill. Nice. He still now has no money again. He's gonna land on the Bertha. And he tries to get his gun. All right. So that's the gameplay in general. So the one thing, so like, we're gonna go, we're gonna go into the game real quick and show settings, centering, patience, and then like his movement in that fight could have been better. And I'm gonna explain exactly what I mean in a second. So I don't know what the difference is on console, but I'm gonna go through my settings. You guys can obviously all go look at it, but this is for him too. So his settings, these are my settings. Again, this might not be the same on console. I'm just gonna go through my settings right now. There you go. Boom, okay. Video highlights don't shouldn't be on. I don't know why those are on actually. So here, the FOV. So this is his number one thing is the, is the, the camera movement. If this is on console, it looked like he had it at 100%. It should be 50. That is like the most important thing in Caldera. To be honest with you guys, camera movement should be 50. If you have it on 100, I don't know how you're playing the game without losing your mind. So 50% is the number one thing for him. I have a bunch of stuff on low. Filmic strength, film rain, off, off. He should have motion blur off as well. It looked like he had motion blur. Like he should have that off. And then this is all the stuff. I Again, I don't know how much you can compare to console. That's what he should be doing. Interface. This is the most important thing for him. He had it on round. It should be on square. It's a bigger mini map. Look at this mini map. Look at this arrow. And then look at this. You see the whole right side, the whole left side, the whole top. Having a bigger mini map is the most important thing ever. Like the like that is like mini map is your best friend. We'll go we'll go through it in probably a different video. This is your best friend in Call of Duty. It shows you everything in the game. Red dots, where they're shooting from, where your UAV is, how close you are to buildings. Like, you need this. The fact that the round option is, yeah, the Doug, the fact that they even have round is just fucking stupid. Just take it out. So he should have it on square. Mini map rotation should be a yes. You should always have that. Show compass is fine. Everything else is fine. And then audio. This is my audio. Again, you can, this is a lot of, so that, you know, whatever works for you. And then the most important thing too, is he's a controller player. He plays on console. Uh, these are my settings. Doesn't really matter. 
you know, whatever your settings are. But like, I play tactical flip, horizontal 6.6.86. Um, if you want to see my custom zooms, I don't use them, but that's the custom zooms. Aim spots, I'd use dynamic. Aim assist standard. Uh, scale to FOV console, you don't have that. Um, but the next most important thing is this right here use reload behavior should be contextual tap. Really, really good for you looting and being able to pick stuff up. And once you get the hang of holding the reload instead of tapping, it's really important. I think it makes looting very, very smooth and it's really, really good. And then the other one that I was going to say that I think is necessary your slide behavior, if you're trying to slide cancel, you should have it on tap the slide. So this should all, all these settings should be all him. Like the, I use auto tax sprint, all that stuff. So I use all of that right there. That's what I personally think he should be using for his settings. Everything that he can obviously use on console. So what I was saying is like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but like for like when Clay was running around, like he had good movement and all that stuff. He was doing a lot of this. Like you notice like my, my aimers at the ground. He was doing like a lot of this. And like the difference between that and like, like, like the difference between what I'm showing him here and like, say there's a window there. Like if you watch like really good players when they're locked in, like instead of just turning the corner like this, just like running around, you know, like, like down, like here, what he should be doing is centering his aim where people can be from. If you're going to run through this, this alleyway, like you should turn the corner and like turn the corner like this and like have it chest high. So if there's someone there, there Enemy or there. He's chest high instead of down here. Cause if someone were to peek that window and you're running through like this, you're going to have to snap up, aim in and do that perfectly. And like that extra millisecond of time can get you killed. If you're good at centering and you're and you're constantly like centering your gun. If you're centering like this and someone pops the window, you're just right. You see what I mean? That stuff bails you out all the time. Like if you're slide canceling and someone's like, oh shit, like you can just be like that instead of, oh shit. And then like go from there. So like the centering this, like when you're centering, running around and centering, like you should 100% do that. But instead of like running how I just showed, what he should have done is this. He should have been running like this, centered, and then as soon as he saw no one here, he should be like this. And then like, you see no one here, and then he should like shoulder, and then like here, like nothing's there, and center here, and like jump to the right. Like, you notice how I've always been looking at something that someone can be from, you know what I mean? Like somewhere like people can be, not just at the ground. Like he would have just done this. And like here, this is just, this isn't doing you no justice. Up there will be helping you, there would be helping you up there would be helping you here is not helping you. that would be one of my number one things for him to do is work on his centering when he's running around aimlessly uh we talked about patience in the video he's getting his load out more and then the only other thing i would say is he got out of the car in a situation like this right he got out of the car where there was a guy like right here and he got out of the car right here. If you are ever in a gunfight and like you have good movement, like movement in Call of Duty is more important than gun skill up close specifically. Like, you know how he died in that video? If you remember how he died, he just like kind of challenged straight up and just lost the gunfight. What he should have done is like this and then like this. The difference between just straight up not moving and being an easy target and just taking a 50-50 gunfight to this and like this. I guarantee you 20 out of 20 times he wins that gunfight. All because he slid behind cover. He might have taken a little bit of damage, but then him jumping out and then doing the bunny hop would have camera the guy. The guy would have missed his shots because it would have been a much harder target. He would have been able to jump out and hit some easy shots on him and shoot that guy in the side. He could have obviously had a little bit better movement in some of those gunfights. He should have had better patience. Uh, his centering needs work when he's just running around aimlessly. And then his settings need to be better. So, Flash, if you're watching this video, hopefully all those tips help you. And, you know, that's obviously the start of probably many. In the sense, if you want to like obviously come back to the channel and stuff, I'm sure we can always help you out in the future. I know Clayish is not here, but if he sees that video, hopefully those tips help and then you can focus on some of the stuff that, you know, to start helping you out getting better and all that. But yeah, I'll be doing this a lot more, especially for YouTube. If people want to see this, subscribe to the channel. If you're watching us on YouTube, hopefully you guys all enjoyed it as well. I'll see you guys next video.